Hey, it's Pigeon Bricks, and today we actually finally have all of the official images from LEGO of the Bad Batch shuttle set as of 2021. Um, yeah, finally we have all of the official images, weirdly not on May the 4th, but released um, only now. But yeah, we have all the images here, I'll be going through them now. So first up, here it is, right? I um, actually think, now seeing it all, um, unblurred, if you will, uh, the images. I think the color scheme isn't that bad. Um, firstly, um, I thought with the leaks that it wouldn't really be very accurate to have it in this blue color, but now I don't really see much of a problem with it. It looks quite good. Maybe not as accurate at the gr as the gray would have been, but I think the lighter blue color does suit the shuttle quite well. But let me know in the comments down below what you think should have been the right color scheme for the set. Moving on to the minifigures of the set though, we have six minifigures if you count the gonk droid. So uh, the entire Bad Batch team um, and yeah, one of them is actually in his Imperial outfit. So that's kind of like a spoiler um, alert for the actual show where he does turn Imperial. But yeah. Um, the rest is all in their usual outfits with their helmets and even replacements hair pieces, which is very nice to see um, Lego include that. I didn't really expect that, but that's really nice. And yeah, we also get a better look at all of these speeders. Uh, and yeah, I was right. There was this um, speeder that we've seen before, the bark speeder, but in a different color scheme, a little bit less blue, more of the gray, um, but it looks pretty normal. But the only thing that I find kind of weird about the Bark Speeder compared to the shuttle is, it's kind of funny actually, it's almost pretty much the same length as the shuttle, even though it's just a speeder for made for one single person to drive. So that is pretty hilarious in my opinion, like the whole shuttle is the same size essentially like lengthwise as just a single speeder so that's a little bit weird but you know obviously enough not everything can be to scale in lego especially not in a playset so that's not a major thing just wanted to point it out but moving on to the next speeder of the set it is actually really interesting to see a speeder in this new color scheme that we haven't ever seen before um, in this lime green so that is really interesting and cool to see a new speeder design with a new color as well so that's really cool um, I think it's a pretty nice design maybe doesn't fit in with the rest of the Star Wars um, vehicles as much but is really nice to see anyway but yeah essentially those two speeders are actually just there to kind of house some of the Bad Batch team so because not all of the Bad Batch can actually fit inside of the Bad Batch shuttle. As you can see right here, there are two Bad Batch members um, or just minifigures in general that can fit in the cockpit area, which is more at least more than in the Imperial shuttle that we've gotten this year. But yeah, and then also two can fit into the back or like middle section of the Bad Batch shuttle as well, which I will say is kind of a very cramped space in the back there. I think maybe LEGO could have potentially added one more seat in there somehow by just carving in some like little space for another minifigure um, to sit in, which would have made it at least a little bit more spacious, but I do at least appreciate it that um, there are two minifigures in the front, unlike in the previous shuttle that we've gotten this year. And so finally, just to look back at the box art, I really think um, the box art at least looks really good, especially with the blue, it kind of pops out um, above all or most other like gray shuttle or just spaceships from Star Wars because, you know, this color scheme is quite unique. It doesn't really um, feel right, if that makes sense, for Star Wars, um, but I can definitely still see how LEGO uh, got this um, picture in their head to be the right um, way to go. But yeah, personally, maybe gray would have been, again, more accurate, but I do think this looks quite nice anyway, and I also like the box art on, on the top with those three minifigures, now I know where that leak came from, but yeah, those three minifigures um, from the Bad Batch as the 
box art is also really neat to see. So yeah, those were all of the official new images of the Bad Batch shuttle, which is, by the way, um, on pre-release now. So basically, you can pre-order it um, to get it um, when it actually comes out. But yeah, I honestly think this set is rather nice looking and it will be costing 100 US dollars which I think is a fair price especially with those two side builds that you're getting there in those speeders and a bunch of minifigures for this set which is amazing I mean just compare that to the Imperial shuttle from 2021 for example it costs less but also way less minifigures way less side builds so I think this is actually a better value than that one um, and also um, I personally like this build more um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the release of this set, and that's that being said, if you enjoyed this video, a like and a sub would be greatly appreciated, and thanks for watching.